see, we want to know how Nigeria generated it. They told us that Nigeria generated electricity from water and from a place called Kenji Dam in Niger State. So that was what was brought about my curiosity. If we literally we can actually get electricity from water, why then is it that every night, like you hardly had a stable electricity, water is free, you can get it anywhere. The woman actually started laughing at me then. The following day, immediately she said that I went back home, got two cables, uh, used a, a bowl, fetched water, dipped two cables inside, thinking that there will be like the, the, the halogen lamp will glow. But I know they didn't glow, I was, I was uh, pretty de devastated that afternoon. I left the following morning, I went back to school, I was anti. You don't know that we generate electricity from water. I think we are lying, no, we are not supposed to lie. A, a whole lot of things actually inspired the work. Uh, because the work, I should say that the work is just as old as myself. The work, uh, yes, the idea, the work, trying to put in it together, the journey so far has just been just as old as myself. Because, uh, yeah, because I've actually, I actually started working on it as far back as from primary school. That was from my primary too. So that was, was when the whole idea started. And it was actually as a result of the fact that I actually wanted to read. Uh, you know, migrating from one location to the other. Towards then, back then in the village, uh, maybe people see me then as pretty intelligent, small lad. I was roughly three years old then. So, migrating from the village to a different part of the country, maybe in a more developed area. So, I was like, I was actually put into a private school where I saw kids that are the same age as myself. These guys could literally read, uh, maybe write, and even spell. But for me, the people thought then that I used to take first position in the village school then. I came here and I, I couldn't actually do much. So it, it was really embarrassing. So, but being a very curious human being, I wanted to read because I knew that the answer to whatever the questions on the board that I saw back then all lies in the book. But I had this kind of debate. I really wanted to know why. I really wanted to probably follow with my mates and be able to read. But as I may have it, then the, the, the issue with electricity in Nigeria was what actually provided because after school. I'll go home and I'll tend to read and uh, there will be no electricity power supply. We well, used to use this uh, kerosene lantern and coal. And because of the kind of woman being I am, I don't usually, uh, should I say, get along very well with kerosene lantern because of the smokes. So it usually filters my uh, get into my eyes. So then that's when I started looking for an alternative. But no, at this age, I've already known how to maybe put up uh, this uh, tiny, Touch, you know those old no model touches with halogen uh, bulbs. I, I, I can literally connect cable wires and touching the battery and light comes up. All those things I really knew how to get it done, even as of three years old then. So time goes on, it was like okay, I wanted to read. We had a library in the primary school there. That was Kemi Nodran Primary School. I'm it was actually in Anambra State. So I'll just sneak into the libra library, park books. But to read becomes a problem. So that was when it's because of that kerosene lantern issue that was like, okay, let me read. Let me let's look for an alternative way to read. The idea was okay, let's create something. We never knew what, but I wanted us to because I, all I did was I built a rack or have to pack a whole lot of discarded batteries inside, and I had about it doesn't actually last. The problem is how do we get the alternator? So there's this a river around the governor's lodge and more. The river still exists, we call it Obibia. So the idea was like, okay, let's construct this, go and put it in that river, and to say that it will generate from the flowing water. So the river is flowing, we can get it. But as kids, we never factored in how do we evacuate the whatever we generate to the house so that I can read. So that was those things were not even part of our plan. All we wanted, I wanted to generate electricity with the, from the stream. As God may have it, with time, I just, the first design that was successful was around six point something volts. And by then, if I had stole his grandfather's uh, <laughs> bicycle dynamo, because that was what we used to put on the coil as of then to turn and uh, get our energy. So this was just the short how the whole thing started. It's already over 20 something years old now, still going, though he has come of age and advanced format. 
So we hope by very soon, probably by next year, the main prototype, the MVP design should be out there and will be heading to the market. The, one of the major challenges we are having is funding and enabling environment. Because of the way, the nature of the kind of environment here, yeah, some of the parts will have to source it out. Let's just suppose usually, it usually comes from myself and friends around me. The, one of the major challenges we are having is funding and enabling environment. Because of the way, the nature of the kind of environment here, yeah, some of the parts will have to source it out. Maybe you have to create a design. We have to liaise with some companies outside there. We tell them, but you know, when it has to do with it, probably at the end of the day, it looks like they take up on trying to develop this with you. And you keep on getting a feedback. Oh, we did this. It didn't actually work. We found that maybe there's a better way to do this. So it's more like going forth and back, forth and back, forth and back. This is exactly what actually happens in a real, in an ideal laboratory. Yes, government can actually come in and maybe, number one, they, they need to start creating the enabling environment for us. Maybe a channel whereby we can actually access funding, machinery, equipment. Because outside the country, they find that a company can, a, a, a government can probably get to partner with private individuals, probably build a laboratory, a standard workshop. These things where in engineering, everything about the engineering, science, tech actually start from a workshop and a laboratory. And we don't necessarily have those kind of sophisticated equipment or maybe environment here. So I think this is exactly what we are lacking. So if government needs to come in, I think these are the areas we should with the funding, maybe to, uh, and creating this kind of environment I've actually mentioned. These are the areas that the government can actually go. They can usually come in into trying to, trying to, uh, in the terms of trying to partner. But I, I'm the type of person that believes that do the right thing, the money will come. So that's just my advice.